hello friends welcome to my platform today i just want to make an illustration of the top i repeat the top of this gilly so i'm not doing a full gilly tutorials but i'm just going to explain how to achieve this top the length of ashoke i have is 100 as in 100 uh, inches now if i'm doing my own I work with two together that is I join two Ashoke together but for this illustration I'm working with one I prefer I join two the plate to be higher and better but I'm just doing the illustration using one so this is how I normally start watch the screen carefully you'll be able to catch what I'm doing I'll start by creating a fold like I bend my ashoke to create you know a a v or a curve like you see now i just start from the edge like that and then i range it i'll range when i range i will use thread to hold that place down i will first tack it hmm? Like I said, I used two ash, okay. I joined two, which is 12 inches against six. 12 inches against six. But I'm using six inches to do this uh, explanation now. Okay? Okay, so when I tack, I will place it uh, down. And of course, you see that the tacking it's just a it has to be done inside don't tie it in a way that the thread will come out you sew it in sew it in and out and then you curve it like this you see it so we will not come to this part and create an upward upwards pleat fan an upwards fan eh? upwards like you want to create ace ace gele hmm? an upward fan so the the moment you start to slant eh? it must finish so the fan we have to get high and uh, reduce at a point as you approach the ending of the curve the the fan we reduce so as you, you know now fan don't use to just stand straight line and the same length it has a way of flowing so that's how it will flow normal uh, fan but i want you to think it like you are creating a is gele you know is gele we face up so that is how each of the fan we begin to face up it's not facing down if you do it like it's facing down you will not be able to continue it so it has to face up okay so each of the fan faces up and then we tack inward now even the beginning does not seem to be a challenge it's when you now want to proceed with creating the remaining ones that it will look like you have having some challenges so let's see how we go about it i'll just do example of three or four for us to to see so that it will be clear enough for those that are interested all right so you will now you've pinned down that part you will place this one and look at you it must it will you must have this part i am having now this unequal part so you will not take the second step from the bottom because if you take the first one to be too short so you will not be forcing all the edges to stop or land on the part where that second step is because each of the step on that they are never equal one is longer than the other so the the shortest one is the one at the bottom the first one at the bottom the next to it is the second one 
at the bottom so the length differs and it is with that length you'll be able to determine how the flow of the fan should be so when you pick the second one where that second one length end you will now start to force the remaining one to to end there too so as you try to force them to end there the something will begin the fan will begin to raise up because the remaining ones are longer than it so forcing them to land on that point must give it must raise it up okay it must i'm doing like a local explanation i pray that you get it and with this you can push upwards and downwards you can push the way you see me pushing now or you can reduce it you slant it down it will reduce if you want it higher you just put push all together upwards it will move so then you you tack it together so this first explanation is number one we are going to do a second explanation or is it a third no it's a second one because that first one is just the beginning so we are going to do a second explanation maybe with the second one if you did not get the first one clearly you might get the second one okay so we are going to do a second explanation me you see that i tack and cut okay after the explanation i'll still explain something but let me just finish with the explanation so now you see we are getting the flow okay then we are not going to do this the second method you can use by this second method let's pin down first so that this one will not start raising up and disturbing us yeah so by the second method we flip it up up as in open it up like this uh -huh. so select from the bottom the second one uh -huh, like that that's the length then you begin to fold these ones to meet where that length and this was what i was explaining before you just keep picking it and landing it on that length as you do that this one will be going up it will it will be giving a it will be giving it some kind of height all right because you are putting it in a place that is shorter than it. And when you continue like that, it must get to the point, it's a month, where the fan will come out by itself. You don't have to struggle to make the fan come out. The fan will come out by itself. And once it starts coming out, you begin to slant towards the end so that you can get out the plate at the end. It's easy, Abby. I know that for some people they will still say ah it's not easy watch this video again and again i i thought of how i could make it very simple for anybody that will watch it to understand that is why i have to come up with different ways of explaining it some people will say ah just the way you create fun that is how you create it it's not enough explanation so that is why i'm trying to do this that i am doing now so we we tack it down and of course we spread it open again repeat the same process we continue until we get to the end now please the the middle point is not meant to be open so the fans eh? the the wave huh you are supposed to connect it you are supposed to connect the wave either you use needle and thread or you use your hot glue to connect the wave so when you connect the wave the opening at the middle will no longer be there you see this opening at the middle once you begin to connect it like i'm doing now you see what i just did like that that middle will be covered that's just it all right okay well, that's all for the explanation you can still watch i'm still doing another example but i am done explaining if you just discovered our creative events today you are welcome and i am so glad that finally you discovered my channel today and that is because we are not yet big our community is still small we don't have the hundreds of thousands of subscribers yet so our videos might not really be popping up so much 
because of that but if you have just watched my video and you enjoyed the explanation please do well to subscribe to the channel drop comments for me hit on that notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a uh, new videos and also if you want to say thank you to me the only way you can thank me the only way you can actually thank me is to allow my advert to play because when the advert play it will help youtube it will help me for youtube to pay me something but if you don't allow that advert that is placed on the channel to play then i will not be able to earn anything from what i am doing so please support me just by allowing the advert to play don't skip them so that at least it will be a way your own way of saying thank you to me so i want to say thank you because i know you understood what i just explained and i know that you are going to cooperate with me so thank you so much for stopping by my channel thank you for being supportive thank you for sharing my videos nowadays i see a lot of shares in my videos so thank you for sharing the videos i really truly genuinely sincerely ah, which other english do appreciate you <laughs> thank you very much i'll see you in my in my next video don't forget that i said you must close that part eh? you must join it if you don't join it it's not going to work and what i do is that i normally prepare this down then i'll carry it and attach it on top of my all round so i don't do it on top of my ghillie i prepare it separately then i'll just bring it and attach it on top of it and i normally have a perfect result doing that okay so thank you so much i will see you in my next video bye